Today we received an email just like this. And I just wanted to share with you some thoughts about receiving emails like this and about um, you guys basically trading demo account. Okay, I understand that you know some of you are still trading demo account and that is fine. And I'm happy to hear that uh, you guys are making money. But here's the thing about demo trading. Demo trading and live trading is different. And I thought I'd just take some time today to share with you why demo trading isn't sufficient. Yeah, well, I mean, you could do it, but uh, there are certain drawbacks about a demo trading that it's not too good. And that is why you always want to do live trading. So in today's video, I want to share with you the missing piece in demo trading. Okay, after that, I want to show you what should you do instead of demo trading because I'm going to show you that demo trading is not perfect. There are certain loopholes in demo trading or pitfalls as, you, as, as what I would call it otherwise. And then if you stay at the end of this video, I want to show you something I call the demo live account gap analysis. Okay, this helps you to tell if your trading strategy or trading psychology is the real problem. So when it comes to trading, there's only two, two main problems. Either your trading strategy is not working or your trading psychology is the problem. So this demo live account uh, gap analysis will accurately pinpoint what is your problem. Okay, so hopefully this will be like a, a doctor. You know, this, this tool will be like a doctor diagnosing what is the issue with your trading. So make sure you stay to the end. Now, uh, if, if you are new to this channel, please give us a thumbs up. Please help us to like this video. Please subscribe to this uh, channel and turn on the notification bell because we have a lot of trading videos like this that are designed to help you become a better trader. We also have a free day trading guide for you. So if you have not downloaded it, make sure you download it. The link can be found in the description. So let's go into the first part of today's video, which is the missing piece in demo trading. Now, in demo trading, uh, it doesn't have emotions because you do not have real money on the line, right? If let's say you make a wrong trade, uh, the most your demo account goes down, you do not feel anything. And that's also the reason why uh, when it comes to demo trading, people um, do not uh, manage your risk well, meaning that they just say, oh, it's a demo account, I'm going to risk 10% per trade, I'm not going to manage my risk, I'm not going to um, really trade it seriously, I'm just going to try it. And the problem is this is that it builds up your habit. So if you know you, you are not used to sizing up your position, you are not used to managing your risk, then what happens is that when you trade onto a, a live account, you're going to bring these same habits into your live account. And that is the fastest way to blow your account. Because in demo trading, let's say you start with a 100,000 account and you, you, know, you don't manage your risk well and you, you are one, one moment you are risking 5% per trade, the next moment you are risking 12%. So guess what is going to happen when you transition to the live account? Very likely you are going to do the same because you've been conditioned to trade like that. Remember, we are creatures of habit. So if you keep doing this in your demo account, and treat it as not serious money, what's going to happen is that you are going to, you're going to bring these habits into your live account. So it's not good, right? I mean, I, I totally get it. A demo account, it doesn't, doesn't feel real. Okay, so this is something that you really want to uh, look into. And that is why uh, you do not want to uh, just stick to demo account. Now, the other thing is that uh, trading is really 80% psychological in nature. In fact, some of the top traders say that trading is not even 80%. They say that trading is 100% psychological. So think of it this way. Let's assume that trading is only 80% psychological and 20% strategy. Now, if you do a demo trade, what you're doing is you are essentially removing your emotions and money out of the equation. So that means when you are demo trading, you are only focusing on the 20%. You are missing the 80% of trading, which is a psychological part of trading. And this is very important because later towards the end of this video, I will show you why, uh, you know, why this is so important and how to use this to your advantage. Okay, rather than, uh, you know, just accept that, uh, okay, this is my demo trading results and this is my live trading results. I'll show you how do you 
find out which is the problem. Is it your 20%, is it your strategy, or is it your psychology, which is your 80%? Okay, that will be very clear uh, when we get towards the end of this video. So what should you do instead of demo trading? Perhaps now you are convinced, you, are, you know that, okay, demo trading is not, it's not perfect, it's not the best way. So what should you do? Because I want to give you a solution, I don't just want to tell you the problem, but this is the solution. The solution is at first you want to back test instead of demo trading you want to be back testing why do you back test you want to back test to build confidence in the strategy or you know in your own abilities to identify the trade setup now think of it this way if you never traded a system before you never back test you never take the time to look at how it will perform historically and let's say your trading strategy has three consecutive losses now, because you do not have the confidence, you're not going to stick to the um, strategy. You're going to give up halfway. And that's also the same reason why uh, if you follow our signals and you know if your first three trades are winners, it is very likely that you'll follow our fourth trade. But if our first three trades were losers, it's very unlikely that you will follow because that's just the way we humans are. Once you have confidence in something, you are able to stick stick to it but if you do not have the confidence in something you're not going to stick to it so always back test first this is very important back test to build confidence more importantly you want to build up your ability to identify the trade setups okay so back testing is good because you identify the pattern before it actually happens so what you can do is you can go to websites such as uh, let me just write it down here okay trading view trading view okay it's the platform that i always use for my charts um, because it's a web-based browser tradingview.com there's a free back testing uh, software on the platform okay if you need a video uh, you don't know how to back test and you need a video just comment down below and uh, I, my team will arrange something to uh, help you learn how to use trading view to back test but basically, you want to backtest your strategy. You want to build confidence in your strategy. This is very important because that will help you have the staying power. That will help you persist when uh, trading becomes very difficult. When you have a series of drawdowns or you know, uh, the market is not moving or you know, any difficult scenarios. So you want to do that. Once you have do, done that, you want to move on to a forward test. You can totally skip the demo trading. Okay, you, it's, it's, it's better that you go into a live account. It doesn't matter how big the account is, how small the account. In fact, I want you to start with a small account, just $200 or even $100. Honestly, it doesn't matter. What you are trying to do is you're trying to add in your trading psychology into the equation. You are trying to add in emotions into your trading strategy. You want to test your ability to execute, okay? So it doesn't matter how much money you are, do, you are risking as long as you have a live account. Now, just in case you do not know, we have a bonus. We have a bonus with our sponsoring brokerage that gives you 20% uh, of your deposit. Now, I'm not saying this because, you know, we want you to open an account with our brokerage. You do not have to. You don't have to open an account with our brokerage. You can open an account with any other brokerage. Honestly, I don't care. But what I'm trying to tell you is that you need to have a small trading account that is live, that is real money. Because until you have real money on the line, you're never ever going to trade it seriously. Okay, and it's just different. So honestly, if you do demo trading, you want to start demo trading, it's fine, but you cannot stay in demo trading because there's no emotions in play. You want to transition into a small live account that, that tests your trading psychology and your ability to execute. So hopefully this is clear. Now, I want to go through the last portion of today's video, which is also the most important part of uh, today's video, which is how do you do a demo live account gap analysis? So I'm sure this happened to you before. Uh, you have a demo account that you're trading and you know you, you, you are making a killing. You see that your equity curve is very nice. You are like, okay, so this strategy works. Uh, I'm very confident in uh, this strategy. It works and you know everything's looking good. So you are up, your account is equity is going up. And then what happens when uh, you start a live account? The opposite happens. Somehow or another, your account just keeps going down and down and down and down. 
why does this happen? So this is what I call the demo live account gap because there is a gap between your demo account results, which is up, and your live account results. How can this be? Especially if both accounts are using the same strategy, the demo account is using a maybe a pullback retracement strategy, the live account is using the same exact strategy. What accounts for this gap in results? Well, you got it. The gap between your demo trading results and your live trading results shows you the effect of trading psychology. Now, this is very important. So this is how you isolate the fact that uh, one has trading psychology, the other doesn't have trading psychology. So in demo trading, there's no emotions because that's not money. That's not real money at all. If you lose, it's no big deal. You start another demo account. It doesn't affect you. But in live trading, your emotions kick in because let's say you lose money. That money could have been used to do something else. You could have used that money to have a good meal, to go out, to buy a car, whatever it is. But basically, there is an opportunity cost. And that is why emotions come in. And that's where your trading psychology will be tested and your execution is in play. Whether you are able to execute correctly, you know, properly, and you know, manage your risk, that all comes into play. So here is how you do the gap analysis, okay? If both your trading account, if both sides, your trading account equity curve is going up and your life account, um, sorry, your life account is also going up, then honestly, there is no problem. Because uh, if both accounts are going up, that means that uh, you're making money and you wouldn't even need to watch this video because your strategy and your psychology is good, you're making money. But if both are bad, let's say your demo account is uh, down and your life account is down as well. Now, what does this mean? This means that it is definitely strategy problem because in demo trading, there's no emotions. So we can reasonably assume that uh, you are not being emotional. So if you do demo trading and you still cannot make a profit, that means that your strategy is not profitable. Now, if your demo trading is good, in this case, your demo trading is making money, it's going upwards and uh, your life account is going downwards then it is a trading psychology problem because without emotions, you were able to make money. But when you add your you know, trading psychology in, you are losing money. So what accounts for the difference? Your trading psychology. So if this is the case, then you need to work on your trading psychology, not your strategy. Okay, this is very important because a lot of times people work on the strategy when it is not the strategy problem, it is the trading psychology problem. And having talked to many traders and trading many years myself, I can tell you most of the time it is trading psychology problem. Okay, you look through our YouTube channel, we have a ton of videos teaching you about strategies. We have so many content, so many, you know, even articles on our website that teaches you how to do it. We also have the MPE trading strategy that works. We have our signals that work, but people still lose money. Why is that? It is because it is the trading psychology, it's not the strategy. So hopefully you really understand that trading psychology is very important and that you focus on your trading psychology. And what I want you to do is I want you to go over to your uh, demo account and your live account, do a comparison and try to find out what is the problem with your trading strategy. So that is how you diagnose uh, your trading results, right? Is it a strategy problem or is it a trading psychology problem? So just summing up uh, what I covered today, I talked about the missing piece in uh, demo trading, which is basically your emotions. It doesn't take into account your trading psychology and your emotions. I also showed you what to do instead of demo trading, and that is to back test first, and then after that, forward test, which is trading with a small account. Again, doesn't matter how much you risk, it could be $50, could be $100, but you want to have real money on the line. Lastly, I showed you how do you do the demo live account gap analysis. Uh, which pinpoints if your trading strategy or trading psychology is the real problem. Okay, you want to look at your demo trading results and you want to look at your live account trading results and then you see whether what is the problem. Okay, if you're making money in your demo but not in your life, that means it's trading psychology. If you're not even making money in your demo, then chances are um, it is your strategy. So hopefully this uh, video is helpful for you, right? Please uh, give us a thumbs up. We really, really appreciate it. We are trying to impact 100,000.
traders. So with your help, I will get there. All right. Also remember to subscribe and make sure you download the free day trading guide that we have prepared for you. If not, thanks for your time. I'll see you in the next video.